Still kind of hurts. Levi, how are you feeling today? I don't feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, that's good. Uh, I've having what? puke since I was six. There's right. puke right there. Gross. Oh, we'll get it later. Love you, bud. Love you. It's supposed to be 60 degrees today. The snow is melting everywhere. <laughs> Woo! So I had a pretty good day today. I had multiple meetings, all of which I epically failed at taking any pictures or videos because she's been slacking on the documenting today. But I uh, had a Cascade staff meeting with our campus talking about the growing young value of warmth is the new cool. As we talked about how warm is the new cool today, I'm reminded of this truth that I think all of us in youth ministry know that warmth is more important than excellence of production. Yes, we want excellence in production. Yes, we want good worship. Yes, we want good everything. But if kids don't know that we care about them when they leave, they're probably not coming back. If kids don't feel like they belong, if kids aren't connecting with real friendships, then we are gonna lose as a youth ministry. So youth pastor, let me remind you and encourage you that warm is the new cool. That it's better to be warm. That, that if students can leave your youth ministry saying, this place is like a family, then you will win and God will use you in huge ways to impact students lives. I've heard it said that people and particularly students need to belong before they're going to believe. See, when students feel like they belong, no matter what they look like, no matter what they've done, no matter what they believe, if they feel like they're a part of the family, that they're welcome, that they're included, that you want to be their friend, that's powerful and that'll make them continue to come. And once they feel like, okay, I have like, I belong here, I'm a part of this family, what happens is, is it, it, it the walls come down around their heart, which opens the door for the Holy Spirit to come in, and then they can begin to then they will begin to believe the message that we're teaching about Jesus, which is the most important thing. Then I had a program director's power hour meeting, and then I had a Detroit Life Remodeled meeting, and then I went to a conference for Judah's uh, school conferences, and now I'm at home and check it out if you see behind me. The snow is melting. It's like the first warm day in weeks, but the snow is just melting like crazy. I can see green grass everywhere. The snow is almost gone. <laughs> Man, I'm feeling really tired today, and so I'm gonna cut this video off right now, and I will see you guys tomorrow.